Okay, boys and girls, welcome to math. Today we are going to talk about telling time to the half hour. Yesterday we focused on when the hour hand points directly on a number and what time it is. And we know that when the hour hand points directly on a number that it must be an o'clock time or no minutes have passed. So in case, so this would be four o'clock because the hour hand is directly on the four and the minute hand is on the 12. So let's do a little bit of review. I'm going to turn the clock around and you're gonna tell me what time it is. Here we go. Okay, look at the clock. What time is it? The hour hand's pointing directly on the six and the minute hand is all the way up top. It's right on that 12. It means no minutes have passed. What time is it? Good, six o'clock. All right, what time is it now? Good, eight o'clock. We know that because the hour hand is right on the eight and the minute hand is all the way up at the top. All right, what time is it now? Good, 11 o'clock. All right, so today we're gonna get into kind of the meat of what we're doing in the first grade and that's learning what, how to tell time to the half hour. Watch that hour hand. As the minute hand moves around the clock, do you see what's happening to that hour hand? Do you see? Yep, it moved halfway between the 11 and 12 because the hour hand is constantly moving while the minute hand is moving. It just doesn't move as fast. So we don't always notice it. But when it gets halfway between, it means that it's halfway to being the next hour. It's just that the minute hand hasn't gotten up there yet. So it's still the hour of 11, but now it's 11.30 because 30 minutes have passed. So we're gonna do just a couple to the 30. Here we go. Okay. What time is it? Notice where the hour hand is. It's halfway between the one and the two. It's still the one o'clock hour though. It's not yet gotten to be two o'clock. So it, but it's no longer one o'clock either. It's halfway between one and two. Halfway means that it is 30. Watch the hour hand. Now what time is it? It's halfway, our hour hand, between the three and the four, so it must be half past three, so it is 3.30. Good. What time is it now? 6.30. What time is it now? 9.30. Good. We're gonna be focusing today on this hour hand being halfway between to know that it is to the 30 today. Okay, so go ahead and get your workbooks out. If you don't have your workbooks, maybe you have a blank sheet of paper or something so you can do the activity with us. This is, so we're not gonna do this first page. That's kind of the page that usually goes along with the video. So go ahead and turn it. We're gonna start on page 398 and we're going to be talking today as the hour passes, the hour hand moves from one number to the next number. We just talked about that with our clock. When a half hour has passed, the hour hand points halfway between two numbers. So let's look at this hour hand. Remember the shorthand is the hour hand and the hour hand is halfway between the seven and the eight. Halfway, it's not right on the seven, it's not right on the eight, it's halfway. Whenever it's halfway between two numbers, we know that it is going to be a 30 minutes have passed. It's to the 30. So in this case, they wrote out the words half past seven o'clock, which is true, 7.30 is half past seven o'clock, but we're not gonna write it that way. We're actually going to write 7.30 because I think that's more valuable to you. We'll, we'll talk about it, the fact that it's half past, but we're not going to write it that way. So let's look at these clocks and we're going to be clock detectives and we're gonna figure out by looking at the hour hand what time it is. So let's look at the first clock. 
It says, look at where the hour hand points, write the time. So here's our hour hand, and it's pointing halfway between the one and the two. So what time is it when our hour hand points halfway between the one and the two? The hour is still one. So we can make our one and we can still make our colons like we did with one o'clock. But when it's halfway past, it means it's the minutes are to the 30. So we're going to write one 30. That's one colon and three zero because the 30 means 30 minutes have passed. So it's one thirty. We know it's one thirty even without that minute hand down on the six because the hour hand is halfway between the two numbers. So let's look at number two. Here is our hour hand and it's halfway between the four and the five. So that means that it's still in the four o'clock hour. So it's still four for our hour. But the minutes are halfway around because we can see that our hand is making its way to the five. So it must be 4.30. So you go ahead and write 4.30. It's good that you get used to writing it that way. Okay, and some of you, if you want to, just for fun, because you have your book, you can go ahead and you can make your minute hand if you'd like in there. You don't even have to make the fancy little arrowhead at the top. You can just draw it down. Remember, our minute hand would be longer than our hour hand, so we could pass that dotted line. Let's take a look at the next one. Here we go. We have our hour hand halfway between 11 and 12. So that means that it must be up to the 30. It's a 30, but the hour is still 11 because it's halfway between 11 and 12. So our time here is 11 and our minutes would be, because it's halfway, 30. Good. So this is 1130. All right, let's go to our next clock. Here we go. Now, and sometimes their little hour hand doesn't look like it's halfway between, but all of these clocks just go with it that it's halfway between. Um, even though like this one kind of looks like it's pointing more to the four than it does to the three, it's meant to be halfway. So between the three and the four must mean the time is what? 3.30. Good job. Three colon, whoops. 30. I was going to write 3 o'clock, so I kind of have to write over that. Oops. All right. So just like yesterday, I want you to do, here in all of these examples, our hour hand is halfway between two numbers. So I want you to look at that and decide what time must it be. And I want you to, when you do these pages, I don't want you just to do them really fast and go on with the video. I want you to have a grown up take a look and um, double check and make sure you understand because you don't wanna just do them fast and then maybe still have questions because I can't answer your questions right now, though hopefully we'll have something set up where I can answer them later. But right now your parents will need to double check and they are experts at telling time. Okay, so you can either pause the video here and do this now or you can turn the page with us and then come back when we're done and do it later. That's up to you. All right, so let's take a look at our Think Smarter or our puppet video. It says, Tim plays soccer at half past nine, nine o'clock. So we know half past nine o'clock, we know what time that is, right? If it's half past nine o'clock, it must be 9.30. He eats lunch at half past one o'clock. Okay, half past one o'clock would be 1.30. He sees a movie at half past two o'clock, which means 2.30. Look at the clock, write what Tim does. Okay, so Tim plays soccer at half past nine o'clock. He eats lunch at half past one o'clock and he sees a movie at half past two o'clock. So what is the time say on this clock? Our hour hand is pointed right between the two and the three. So if the hour hand is between two numbers, that must mean that our minute hand is at the 30. So what time does this clock say? It says what? Two 30. So let's make a little note of what our clock says right underneath the clock. So if our clock says 2.30, what is Tim doing right now? 
Is Tim playing soccer? Is Tim eating lunch? Or is Tim at the movies? Do you remember what it says up here, what he's doing at 2.30? It says he's doing something at 2.30. What is he doing? Is he playing soccer? He plays soccer at half past nine o'clock. Is it half past nine o'clock? No, he must not be playing soccer. He eats lunch at half past one o'clock. Is it half past one o'clock on our clock? No, he must not be eating lunch. He sees a movie at half past two o'clock. Is it half past two o'clock on our clock? Yes. It is half past two o'clock. It is 2.30. So that means that Tim must be going to the movies. So Tim is at the movie. How lucky for Tim. <laughs> okay, if you need to pause because you need to write that out, feel free to write that out and you can pause. Okay, number 12. Ooh, this is very similar to kind of the Tim one. Here we go. Tira has a piano lesson at five o'clock. The lesson ends at half past five o'clock. How much time is Tira at her lesson? Circle your answer. Ooh, okay. So Tira has a piano lesson at five o'clock. Let's underline five o'clock. I like making notes because it helps me remember. So she goes at five o'clock but the lesson ends at half past five o'clock. And what is half past five o'clock? Let's underline that too. Half past five o'clock. And half past five o'clock is another way of saying what? It's another way of saying 5.30. So how much time is Tira at her lesson? So it starts at five, it ends at 5.30. Is she at her lesson for a half hour or 30 minutes? Or is she at her lesson for a whole hour? What do you think? Yeah, she's at her lesson for a half hour or 30 minutes because we haven't reached six o'clock yet, right? So it hasn't been a full hour. Very good. Okay, so for number 13, what time is it? Circle the time that makes the sentence true. So look at our clock. See that that hour hand is halfway between the five and the six. And then circle what time is it? The time is, is it 5.30? when it's halfway between five and six? Is it six o'clock when it's halfway between five and six? Or is it 6.30 when it's halfway between five and six? You decide. And this will be one of the trickiest things probably is getting the bit between the 5.30 and the 6.30, but I think you can do it. What do you think? Go ahead and circle your right answer and have somebody check it in your house. All right, then we move on to your um, homework or your independent activity. So just like before, you're gonna look at where the hour hand points. You're gonna look at that, and in each of these cases, it's halfway between the two numbers, and you're gonna write what the time is using the colon and the 30. So each one of these will be whatever the hour is, and then colon and 30. And then you're gonna do the story problem. Okay, Greg rides his bike at half past four o'clock. He eats dinner at half past six o'clock. He reads a book at half past eight o'clock. Look at the clock, write what Greg does. So this is just like the puppet video we just did. So you can fill in your clock um, and you can write the time underneath it if it's helpful, whatever you like, but do this as well. And then we have review. Um, and it looks pretty half and half. That's kind of what we're doing right now. And then our spiral review. Let's see if this still works for us. What number does the model show? Write the number. Yes, remember these are tens and ones. How many tens and ones make this number? Yeah, you can do that. Number's 14, how many tens and how many ones? All right, go ahead and do this. And that's it for today. That's it for lesson 9.7.